Hey Derek, I'm glad you're interested in my footage. Hey, I'm Max, a mechanical engineer from Germany. And during my time at the German Aerospace Center, I had a colleague who was doing research about hypersonic scramjet propulsion systems. Yes, yeah, science! And he had a really cool Schlieren optic setup. So we thought it would be a great idea to shoot some raisins out of a steel tube and film it with a high speed camera. So what we did is we took a steel pipe and loaded it with raisins like an old musket. Then we attached an air blow gun to it with about 12 bar of compressed nitrogen. So here we go, you see a couple of raisins shooting out of the steel pipe. And the compressed nitrogen behind the last raisin actually has a high enough pressure in comparison to the atmosphere to reach supersonic velocity while exiting. The shock waves create beautiful Mach cons just like behind a rocket engine. So the interesting part is, why do we even get a supersonic exhaust flow without having any kind of convergent divergent nozzle which is usually required in order to reach supersonic flow speeds? I mean, it's just a plain pipe without a defined smallest diameter where the flow would be choking so the gas would speed up to supersonic speed in the following divergent nozzle. For comparison, these are the Mach cones behind one of our small experimental rocket engines. Another time, we stuffed a pipe full of wet leaves and dirt. And even though it looks a little bit like a flying turd which explodes under the exposure of lower ambient pressure, it turned out to be amazing. So why do we reach supersonic flow? I thought maybe a little burr on the inside edge of the pipe acted as a throat and the open ending was a good enough divergent nozzle for the flow to reach supersonic speed. But hey, it works, bitches. <laughs> By the way, you always make it look super easy when you talk to the camera in public. For me, it's quite awkward, but as Richard Feynman used to say, what do you care what people think, right? P.S. I know you're from the land down under. Nice. But I was wondering if you have German heritage, since your last name is Müller, which sounds very similar to the most common German name, Müller. 